Hey Dairy Road, I'm so glad you could be here to discover at a distance with us this morning. It is the month of April. And what day is it in April? It's the seventh. Will you count with me together up to seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So today is Tuesday, April 7th, and the year is 2020. I have some clips right here, and they say, today is. We just talked about today, it's Tuesday. So I'm gonna look right over here on my chart of the days of the week, and I'm gonna stick today is arrow on Tuesday. All right? Now, if today is Tuesday, then yesterday was, anybody remember? Monday. Yesterday was Monday. And that leaves tomorrow. Tomorrow will be, Today is Tuesday, tomorrow will be Wednesday. I'm gonna clip that right over here. Now we're gonna sing the Who Came to School Today song. There'll be a part where I pause and you can say your name then. You ready? Look who came to school today, school today, school today. Look who came to school today. That's who came. We're glad that you're here to watch with us today. All right, next boys and girls, we're gonna check on the weather. What is the weather like today? I'm the weather checker for my class, so I'm gonna go over here, pop my head out the door and see. Let's see what the weather is today. Ooh. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful out today. It is looking really good. What's the weather like where you are? Can you check? Can you check out the window and see? Is it rainy? Is it sunny? What's the weather like where you are today? I thought we'd talk a minute about jobs. We have classroom jobs when we're here at school. Things like line leader and caboose, the sweeper and the door holder. Now some of these jobs you don't need to do while you're at home, but what are some jobs that you can do while you're at home? Can you be a sweeper when you're at your house? Yeah, you can do that. And you could help with snacks with your family if your mom and dad said that's okay. And what are some other jobs that you can do while you're at home? Look around and ask, how can I be a helper to you today? The letter of the week this week is the letter E, and that's what my name starts with, E for Emily. And we're gonna read the story of Elmo the Elephant. Elmo the Elephant was excited. He called all his friends to come. He was having an Easter party, hiding eggs and eating some. Elks came dancing elbow to elbow. Eskimos came from south from north. They enjoyed the elegant party, excused themselves, and went back home. And that is the end. It says the end at all of our books, but today you'll notice that N starts with E. Hey guys, so the letter of the week this week is the letter E. That's my favorite. You start with a long stick down and three sticks across for the capital E. And the lowercase e has got that curl to it. Okay, so we've got our letter e's on the board. Now we're gonna try and think of some words that start with the letter e. I'm gonna go first with my name, Emily. All right, now we have something coming up this weekend called Easter that a lot of people are gonna be celebrating. That starts with a capital E too. And do you know what people like to look for at Easter? Eggs, that's right. So for eggs, we're going to make our lowercase e and two little g's and an s. Let's see if I can draw one here. I hope you get a chance to decorate some Easter eggs at your house if you're doing that this year. There's one. Hmm, anybody have any other e words they can think of? We've got Emily, that's a good one. Eggs, Easter. How about exciting? I like exciting and fun things to do. And you know who we could do that with? An elephant. That's a big E word, elephant. Hit it on the board. Lots of good things start with E. My favorite is Emily. All right, boys and girls, I would love it if you would join me in the pledge at home. Can you stand up right where you are? Stand up and get your right hand and put it over your heart. You ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, 
one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.